What's going on everybody? Kenny Customizer Depot here and today I'm working on a Moto G7 phone case and I'm not working with Angelus paints today which is kind of sad and I will explain to you why. Today we worked with the Golden Fluid Acrylics and a Liquitex White and I am, I would, I want to say that I'm a fan but I'm also not a fan of the uh, Liquitex White because it was so thick. I do want to say that I did like using the fluid acrylics that we got from Golden. I, well, shout out to uh, he who shall not be named for giving us the select suggestion to use uh, the Golden, like because we always use um, we always use Angelus uh, because we swear by it. But this particular moment in time, we didn't. I really like the, the the fluidity, the way like the viscosity because it's so thin. It's not too crazy. It, it will flow down. Um, it, it'll just flow, which is what I really liked. And it blends well. Those those colors really, really, really mix well. That blue, the the gold, the and the uh, and that maroon. Like I, I really, really liked the way that those colors mixed and. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with the way that this project came out. It, th just to reiterate also that this phone case was very difficult to use uh, because they have the two circles for the cameras and the, and the light for the Moto G7. Uh, I have a OnePlus 3T, so I definitely do not have to feel the pain because it looks like a, like a 7 Plus case to me. So shout out to all you uh, Apple users who have normal phones than any of these weird fo weird phones that are coming out with multiple slots and they have to torture me when I have to make some phone cases like this. So uh, again, I just wanted to uh, show you guys that once this process is done, how easy it can be to move from one, one place to the other. A phone case like this would generally take you uh, anywhere between like, I wanna say like it'll take you probably maybe like an hour to two hours depending on your skill level, you know, because you're going to go a lot slower in the beginning because you're just playing around. And in all honesty, my suggestion to you is always have fun when you're working on these art projects. Art is all about fun. And that's something that I want to I want to do every time I have a, like, a, like a project that I have to work with. I just play around right now. Like I've never done this to a phone case where I just I take a little screwdriver and I mix the paint. Also, I mix the paint in that general area because how the hell am I going to get paint in that little in that little like area for that little reservoir area that I have left like that recessed area it's 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 a pain in my rear in all honesty so I'm gonna let this thing dry for at least like a good six hours uh, because if I touch it and I smudge it and I put anything on top of it it will indent the uh, the paint because the first cap dries on top and then everything else on the inside of that fr first cap will dry if there's any of you out there that have ever played around with multiple like or thick layers of paint, you will know exactly what I'm talking about and hit me up in the comment section because I know that you've messed up that paint because you got a little too antsy and you wanted to play around with it and you wanted to touch it and then BAM makes a weird indentation. The thing just moves everywhere. It looks like quicksand and then you're like, I, I want to throw this project out, but I've done that multiple times. So. I've, I've been there now guys I want to uh, explain to you what I'm doing I let it dry I uh, took the excess paint off of the sides of the uh, of basically off of the side walls of the of the phone case uh, and then I'm, I'm taking like a q-tip with acetone on it because that is the rubber part that does not damage with acetone it may discolor uh, a little bit at some point but it doesn't damage the phone case you just have to be mindful of not putting too much not rubbing a lot of acetone on it now we get to the, the art resin spot uh the art resin you can find at leather care supply the link is in the description box below so definitely go check them out uh they're 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 good dudes so uh, what i want to do is i want to put a one-to-one -one mixture of uh like the ratio i want to put a one-to-one -one ratio of hardener and resin into like a little dixie cup now the reason why is because they found out the science behind art resin is one to one. If you do anything more than one to one and mix it for two minutes, uh, you're going to get a terrible mixture and it's going to get too sticky and or it's not going to work, period. Like um, the, the ones that I usually got in the first couple of tries because I saw, oh, hardener, let me put more hardener than resin. Uh, I got I got terrible news for myself. 
Uh, so right here I have a lot of bubbles and the best way to pop those bubbles is once we level everything out, we're going to put we're going to put a blowtorch to all of it. So that's the best way to pop the uh, the bubbles. You could use a heat gun, but the heat gun is going to basically it's it's blowing hot air at something, right? So if you're blowing hot air at at something, it's going to move it because it's it's hot air. You know, again you're just whooshing hot air onto the resin and the resin is a liquid it's going to move so the fire just pops the bubbles and it moves it slightly but it doesn't move it to the same extent as blowing on it would so right here you just want to make sure that you get into all of the nitty-gritty areas that way you don't um you don't have any exposed paint areas onto the actual phone case where you know like somebody can chip off the the paint uh by mistake but again like i i really like these projects because uh they are centralized and again this since it has the two cameras the two camera slots it, it's very difficult to work which is why i'm using the uh the butt end of the paintbrush so just be mindful of the projects that you're working on it's better to put less resin than more resin so that way you have ample time to play around with how much you put it on so also be careful about how much you blowtorch the shit out of this thing all right guys thank you very much for hanging out with us over here at customizer depot studios and this is the finished product you see this this is the uh moto g7 uh phone case this was a little bit difficult to do because of this piece right here that's why you saw me basically just taking the uh, paintbrush and just putting it on in all the spaces but as, as long as you you let it dry on a on a level surface area you won't get it on anywhere unless you put it you know like you put the right amount in like if you if you start going crazy and you and it'll start overflowing and it just doesn't look right so again uh this is practically bulletproof you can even hear me banging it and nothing's gonna happen to the case Let's scratch the shit out of it nothing 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 yeah again this thing is practically bulletproof which is pretty cool this is why i kind of like making these phone cases so again if you guys have any questions on the process we do sell these on our website, so definitely go check them out at CustomizerDepot.com. Uh, you can hit us up if you also have any questions at Customizer Depot on our social medias. So Pinterest, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, all of those good places. So again, guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. We hope you enjoyed watching me pour the acrylic resin over this stuff. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. See ya.